Timmy, wake up. It's almost 10 a.m. You're still in bed. Hmm, just five more minutes, Dad. I'm so tired. Five more minutes? You've been saying that for the past hour. You need to get up now. You can't keep wasting your mornings like this. But, Dad, it's summer vacation. I don't have school today. Vacation or not, it's important to start your day early. You can do so many things in the morning. Have you thought about what you'll do today? Not really. I was thinking of just relaxing, maybe playing video games later. Video games again? You spend so much time on them. Why not try something more productive? Like what, Dad? Well, you could start by helping around the house. There are chores to do, and your mother could use some help. Chores? But they're so boring. They might seem boring, but they teach you responsibility. It's important to learn how to take care of things, Timmy. But I don't see the point. I just want to have fun. Having fun is good, but life isn't just about fun. If you learn to balance your responsibilities with your free time, you'll enjoy life even more. Timmy. Can we talk for a moment? Sure, Dad. What's up? I want to talk about why it's important to take responsibility for your actions and your time. Okay, I'm listening. Do you know why I wake up early every day, even on weekends? Because you have a lot of work to do. That's part of it. But it's also because I believe in making the most of my time. Time is something we can't get back once it's gone. But I'm still young, Dad. I have plenty of time. You're right, you do have time. But the habits you form now will shape your future. If you get used to being lazy, it'll be hard to change that later. I guess, but it's just so hard to wake up early. It can be, but it gets easier with practice. And once you're up, you'll feel better and have more energy to do things you enjoy. Like what? Like exploring a new hobby, reading a book, or even going for a walk. You could also use the time to learn something new. I never thought of it that way. There's a lot you can achieve if you manage your time well. And starting your day early is the first step. Good morning, Timmy. You're up early today. That's a good start. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. I'm proud of you. So what's the plan for today? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll help Mom with some chores like you said. That's a great idea. You know, helping others is a big part of becoming responsible. But does it really make a difference? Absolutely. When you help around the house, you're contributing to the family. It shows that you care and that you're willing to do your part. But sometimes it feels like no one notices what I do. People notice, even if they don't always say it. And more importantly, you'll notice the difference it makes in yourself. You'll feel more confident and capable. I never thought about it like that. I guess I'll give it a try. That's the spirit. Remember, hard work pays off. It might not always be fun, but it's worth it in the end. 
Timmy, how have you been feeling since you started waking up earlier? Honestly, I feel a bit better. I have more time to do things. I'm glad to hear that. Now that you're getting into the habit, let's talk about setting some goals. Goals like what? Goals can be anything you want to achieve. It could be learning a new skill, improving your grades, or even saving money. But how do I set goals? Start by thinking about what you want to accomplish. It should be something that's important to you. Then, break it down into smaller steps. Okay, so maybe I want to get better at math. How would I set that as a goal? First, decide what better means. Is it getting higher grades, understanding the material more, or something else? I think I want to understand the material better. Great. Now think about what you need to do to achieve that. Maybe it's spending extra time studying each day, or asking your teacher for help when you're stuck. So I should make a plan. Exactly, and remember, goals take time to achieve. Be patient and keep working at it, even if it gets tough. I'll try. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, Timmy. I know you can do it. Timmy, I've noticed you've been doing really well lately. You're up early, helping out, and even working on your goals. Thanks, Dad. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. I'm proud of you. You've come a long way, and it shows in how you carry yourself. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good. I have more time for things I enjoy and I don't feel as stressed. That's the reward of responsibility. When you take charge of your life, things become easier and more enjoyable. I guess you were right all along. It's not just about having fun, but about balancing everything. Exactly. Life is about finding that balance. When you do, you'll find that you enjoy everything more. I'm glad I listened to you, Dad. Thanks for helping me see that. I'm always here for you, Timmy. Remember, I believe in you. You can achieve anything you set your mind to. So, Timmy, now that you've learned the value of responsibility, have you thought about what you want to do in the future? I've been thinking about it a little. I'm not sure yet. But I want to do something that makes a difference. That's a great goal. Remember, whatever you choose to do, the habits you're building now will help you succeed. It's a bit scary to think about the future, though. It can be, but you don't have to have all the answers right now. Just keep working on being the best version of yourself, and things will fall into place. I'll do my best, Dad. That's all anyone can ask for. I'm proud of the progress you've made, and I know you'll continue to grow. Thanks, Dad. I wouldn't have gotten this far without your help. I'm always here for you, Timmy. Remember, the lessons you've learned aren't just for now, they're for your entire life. I'll keep that in mind. I'm excited to see what the future holds. And I'm excited to see you achieve great things. You've got a bright future ahead of you, Timmy. Just keep working hard and believing in yourself. Timmy, I can't tell you how proud I am of the person you're becoming. You've really turned things around. Thanks, Dad. It wasn't easy at first, but now I see the value in everything you taught me. 
that's the most important lesson of all, understanding why we do what we do. You've learned to take responsibility, manage your time, and set goals. These skills will serve you well throughout your life. I feel more confident now, like I can handle whatever comes my way. That's because you've built a strong foundation. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. What matters is that you keep learning and growing. I'll never forget that, Dad. Thanks for everything. You're welcome, Timmy. I'm always here for you, no matter what. I'm excited to see where your journey takes you next. Me too, Dad. I'm ready for whatever comes next. And you'll face it with the strength and wisdom you've gained. I have no doubt you'll do great things, Timmy. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving us the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thank you again for watching. Happy learning!